Howdy folks, it's old Magnus Booner here. First thing I need you to do is go ahead and smack that subscribe button for me. You are not going to want to miss any of this epic content that I keep creating for y'all. So today we're outside of Duval, Washington at a place called Cherry Creek Falls. That's right, I got frickin' waterfalls in the background. My friend Googs, she told me about this place, told me it'd be a good spot to come shoot a YouTube video. So here I am. Got a cold beer. Mmm. This is called Lager Rhythmic Dry Hopped Lager. It's from Post Doc Brewing Company in Redmond, Washington. It's actually brewed by my good friend Sherman. He gave me this beer. It's a nice hoppy lager. It's brewed with Northwest hops, but it's got the drinkability of a Pilsner. It's perfect after this hike. Today we are making a dish that is actually inspired by Hamburger Helper. Yeah, you heard me correctly, Hamburger Helper. I know you grew up white trash too. So growing up, I used to eat Hamburger Helper cheeseburger macaroni, and I thought it was darn tasty. So for this backpacking meal, I'm gonna make it. Here I got a sack. Uh, in it is some uh, freeze-dried beef crumbles, and also my, uh, my macaroni out of a box of Trader Joe's macaroni and cheese. My go-to brand is Annie's, but Trader Joe's is what I had. This is my herbs and spices. I got some rosemary in here, some salt, of course some chipotle pepper because I put that shit in everything. Onion powder, garlic powder. I'll have a link to the recipe on my blog at the end of the video. Macaroni and cheese is not complete without the cheese packet. And now this, this is my macaroni noodles and my freeze-dried hamburger crumbles. Those are gonna get boiled here for six to eight minutes until they're al dente. We are going to need to retain some of that pasta water in our auxiliary pot, the dog dish, to, uh, to add liquid to this when we make our cheese sauce, so remember that. Alright, we're up on a boil already, so we're going to add these noodles. Just like life, this recipe has some options. You can put some oil in it, or you can do what I do. I've got these little packets of Tillamook medium cheddar cheese from the Tillamook Creamery down in Tillamook, Oregon. This is some darn good cheese, and they put it in these little three quarters of an ounce of 21 gram packages. So I'm gonna add two of these to this when I make my cheese sauce, and that's gonna make it real rich. If you can get other cheeses that are, are maybe not regional to you like Tillamook is to me, you know those little wax cheeses uh, you get at Costco, I've seen them. It's Gouda, you could use that. Or maybe you've got something in your neck of the woods I've never even heard of that'd be really good for this. We'll do that, because regional things, regional cheeses are best. We're gonna turn that heat off. Those macaroni noodles are done already. So like I said, we gotta strain out some of this water into this uh, dish here, because we're gonna need that to thin the sauce later. The rest of it can just go to the ground. All right, now it's time to get saucy. So first thing we'll do is we'll add this cheese so it can start melting. We'll submerge that cheese towards the bottom of those noodles and that beef where it's nice and hot. That way it melts. Whenever you pick these up, it's important to shake them so that you don't get dirt into your meal. We're gonna stir that in. And now the important part, of course, the cheese packet. And of course, that gets stirred in. And I can tell it's getting thick, so we're gonna add some of this water. That looked like two tablespoons to me. We gotta stir this till it all comes together. Would you just look at that? That looks like backpacking perfection right there. 
That looks like cheeseburger macaroni if I've ever seen it. We're gonna give this a taste and tell you all what it tastes like. We almost forgot the most important part of this. We need half a teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper. GSI Outdoors makes this lovely uh, pepper mill for doing this and uh, you can find a link on my blog where you can buy one. All right, this is all mixed up, ready to go, and ready for me to taste. So let's give it a go, shall we? Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God, this is so freaking good. You really get the herbal notes from the rosemary. That onion powder comes through. You get a big, bold spiciness from that chipotle pepper that I love. That black pepper and the earthiness. This is amazing. Mmm. And I'll tell you what. Add in that Tillamook cream, Tillamook cheese, that medium cheddar really brings us together. Would you just look at that? Mm. Mm. This is some darn tasty backpacking food. Some of the best I've ever made, and I'm being dead serious when I say that. Well, if you haven't already, smack the subscribe button and uh, share this around with your friends. If you got any questions, shoot me an email. My email address is down here. Uh, Thanks for watching. You guys like it when I go thumbs up all the time, don't you? That's pretty charming. The wink is pretty charming too, just like Sarah Palin. You ever see that video called Who's Nailing Palin?